Oh, the fallen words. That that was not here last time. there's any reminder for me about how important time is and these are these are heroes they're out there they were out there putting their life on the line but they have these end dates where suddenly just like that it was over and at that point like the clock the clock didn't matter time was done raining on us a little bit oh. yeah it's starting to come down a little bit so te Let's technically my camera I think is actually like got a weatherproof body <laughs> yeah. I think so we <laughs> we're gonna go uh, trial by fire yeah see if that really or trial by rain yeah man I haven't been to this park in uh, it's probably been five years since we've been here some festival that they have down here uh, Deutsche Fest something like that but I remember I grew up here in Pflugerville. So I would always come down here with a group of friends. There's a little uh, creek right over here. And that's where we would fish. And that's where I learned to fish is this creek right over here. And actually it runs through on this side also. So this brings back some memories right here. Fallen words that that was not here last time. Hmm. Man, if there's any reminder for me about how important time is. Just look at these. Uh, look at these end dates. And these are these are heroes. They're out there. They were out there putting their life on the line. But they have these end dates. Where suddenly, just like that, it was over. And at that point, like the clock, the clock didn't matter. Time was done. People sacrificing their time, these soldiers sacrificing their time, did buy a lot of other people's time, the sacrifice. And maybe that's happening every day at, at some level with everyone. It, I mean, the importance of respecting your own time and then paying it forward, realizing that in some way or another, you're paying it forward because if you're being intentional with how you use your time, like really understanding how to use your time and not doing anything that doesn't matter to you, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna affect somebody else's life and they're gonna carry that time forward. So for instance, like parents have kids or how are you using the time with your kids because your kids are gonna carry that time forward. But yeah, man, this, this just looking at this, this memorial sparked something in me because there's an end date. Man, I just want to make sure when I get to my end date that I've done everything I want to do. Powerful.
It's running through your head. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> well, after seeing that memorial and then uh, hearing a story from a good friend, that is a, a powerful question. That is, if there is only now, how do you spend it? I'm wondering how many people actually take the time to think about that. How many people create the time to think about how am I spending my time? And does it matter? Does the way I'm spending my time matter? God. And it takes me back, like, here's the things that are coming up. I'm just gonna brain dump. Like, when I think about social media, when I think about drama and stuff that go through, like, politics and all these things that people spend a lot of time and energy on, does it really matter? Or is it, does it go deeper? And it, is it the actual experience that you might have in a, like a one-on-one -on -one conversation that you've been avoiding? Or reaching out to someone that you know you could provide a helping hand to? Or taking that trip that you've been thinking about but you haven't because You'd rather be working or somebody told you that you should be working instead of taking a trip like breaking free of like all this uh like societal norms so i think not only thinking about time in a different way is very important but being willing to kind of break the change of how you use it that's where life gets a little more valuable Hey man, I was just thinking about something. Uh, you know these, uh, like the poetry you get? I don't, I don't know what we're calling it exactly. The spoken word, but it's kind of like slam poetry, right? Uh, I'm curious. Okay, now you write this stuff. Now I'm not a writer, so I don't know a lot about this, but All right. if, I, if I challenge you to like just put something down on paper right now and do what we did the other day, could you do that? Of course, I mean, I feel like I could what's uh and how long? Ooh, um let's say let's say you got fifteen minutes. Is that possible? Of course, man. I accept the challenge. Alright, right, now we're gonna actually you're gonna want me to perform it afterwards? Yeah, so we got fifteen <laughs> minutes to write it. <laughs> okay. And then, you know, so we'll have you time and then uh we will perform it after that. And there's no time limit on that, you know. But okay. But definitely, I'm, I'm curious, because you had one take the last time, yeah. but you already had the, the piece written. That was pre-written, yeah. Not so, cool. so, okay, so you want one raw, like, yeah. all right. Okay. Action. God, it literally just turned 15 oh I'm not making this up, dude. That is insane. Oh crap, <laughs> my phone just started ringing too. Wow, okay. Uh, you, you like just made the cutoff.
I can't believe that just happened just now. Like I'm looking at my camera timer, 15, 20 seconds right now. That's crazy. So I'm ready. I'm ready to perform it too. Yes. <laughs> wow. Oh, just finished up filming another day in the life of which was episode two of the time is relentless season, season. <laughs> uh, so every Thursday I go eat at Brotherton's black iron barbecue so after this long day I'm hungry as hell right now so we're headed to go throw down some barbecue uh, hope y'all enjoyed episode two. There was a challenge in there. There were some, what do we call those moments where we saw the, uh, gosh, I, man, I, there, there were just some impactful moments that can't really be described. The kind of, uh, one of them for sure. Like it's, uh, I, I don't know if you're going to cut to it while we're talking about this, maybe one more time so they can see it. But. I can't remember. I know I've got a film, a video clip. I don't know if we were explaining like what was going on, but, but I can't, I can cut to it now. The teardrop. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. At that monument. Man, yeah. Yeah. So just well, explain what happened. All right. So there's this memorial inside of Pflugerville Park. And so we spent some time at that memorial, shot some footage. And then on the way walking back, we were going to take some photos, but it had started raining when we were on our way back. Uh, when we got there, there is this smaller statue. It's a little kid. looks like eight or nine years old. Well, the rain had hit his face perfect where it looked like a teardrop coming out of his right eye. And just being at the memorial and seeing that and talking about how valuable time is and not wasting time. And then boom, there's this teardrop. <sighs> man it was powerful and it's not like it like you you know we're seeing what we want to see like it was a teardrop like that was just it couldn't have been more obvious yeah no doubt and it was so much that like you and i had to sit there for like two or three minutes to talk about like is this is this real you even touched it one time yeah and you're like no no they just put that on there and i'm like no man look like we touched it again and it's smeared away from his face <laughs> that's yeah that that's how unreal it was it's like i didn't want to believe it like because it was just too crazy you know yeah yeah so anyway it was a couple different it was the second moment though the, yeah. the timing, uh, timing. Remember the... oh yeah yeah so you yeah. you challenged me on the uh, spoken oh. word to write one in 15 minutes oh my said, god okay, take it... the challenge so you started the clock and I couldn't see the clock you had the camera set on the clock and so I just started writing and then uh, I said you know, I was writing for a little while, then I said, I'm done. And you got up to look at the clock, and it was at, uh, we played it back. I think it was at 1456 is when I said I was, I'm done. And by the time you looked at the clock, it was right at 15 minutes. Yeah, it's crazy. I wasn't paying attention. I was doing something on my computer. He was still writing. I didn't expect it to come that fast. And then, yeah, whenever you called me over there, I was like, there's no way. <laughs> and sure yeah. enough, dude, like it was pretty wild. Yeah, and, that so, was cool. and then I appreciated the challenge of the re recording also because, you know, the first, ep the first uh, episode that we did, the uh, spoken word went really smooth. It was something I had pre-written. This one I didn't really have the timing down, and we were recording to music, so it yeah. challenged me. And uh, there were times where I got I was frustrated, but I knew like with enough persistence and doing it enough times, it would come out. And that that last take we did is. It's legit, so I can't wait to really hear it back after you get it done. Yes, sir. The distraction. The hell with procrastination. Instead, choose action. Choose courage instead of giving in to fear. Make this your day, your month, your year. Move with faith and trust that you can finish. Be like time. Don't waste it because time is relentless. Sounded really good on my end. Ha, ha, ha.